Today I'm just going to do a, a real quick real world speed test and to do to do that I've got a test file here it's an ISO it's a little over three gigabytes and this is actually on my I'll bring it down here in the center and zoom in a little bit so you can see but it's you can see here it's on my network this on my disk station and in the folder called video projects and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this. This is a Windows XP Pro by or Windows 7 Pro by the way. And then I'm just going to paste it to the desktop. And I'm already zoomed in here. I'm going to bring this window. This is a task manager. And right now it's on the networking tab. And it'll tell us how much of the network that we're utilizing. And I do this just so you know I'm not cheating and using a USB hard drive or coming from another hard drive you'll be able to see the the amount of utilization on the network now it doesn't take long to transfer a 3 gig file over the network this is uh, I think I'm using cat 6 cables uh, jumbo frames are not enabled which I've heard helps but not all the computers on my system support jumbo frames so I did I just stuck with the uh, 1500 MTU the default size alright so we'll go ahead and just uh, paste this in here we'll click more details and you can kinda see I'll zoom in a little bit more It, it typically always stays above 100 megabytes per second. And this, this entire file, I guess I didn't time it, but it's really not more than maybe 15, 20 seconds I, I would put it at. Again, for a little over a 3 gigabyte file. And I'll bring the task manager down here where we can see it well. And you can see that at the top of the scale here we got a hundred percent and it didn't quite hit a hundred but it's it's right up there and you can see the the peaks it's pretty steady overall too now currently I don't know if this will make a difference but I'm running six Seagate hard drives they're variant size but they're all 7200 rpm I've heard that can make a difference in your in your speed results. Now again, that was just I just copied that file to the Windows machine. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and write to the disk station, and we'll see what we get for speed on that. And this file here, I mixed it up. This is an MKV, and this one is about three three gigabytes it's just a little bit under so again we'll just copy it and now this time I'm going to I'll bring it down here where we see a little better I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it right in here and you know you see some peaks where it goes up to 129 but it 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 always seems to stay above 100 megabyte bytes per second, which I'm really happy about. Sometimes when I'm transferring videos, if anyone's ever tried to transfer a DVD or something across their network, you know it, it can be pretty painful, especially on wireless. But not that that's much of a comparison. And again, that was about three gigabyte file. And you can see here it does have a few more peaks. It didn't. It got actually a little closer to 100% uh, utilization, but it has a few more peaks up and down. So I suppose it wasn't as consistent, but like you just seen, it stayed above 100. So I'm, I'm really happy about that. And that's just a real-world test. It's not very scientific. If you want uh, a lot more scientific results or you would probably want to go to the small net builder 
website he, where he's done a review on this machine and there's there's a whole bunch of other uh, NASAs that he's done really in-depth reviews for. You'll get all the numbers, the reads, the write speeds, and you know his opinion too. But uh, I just wanted to show my real-world speed here. Uh, this I I found that the reason I'm just shooting the camera on the screen today is because when I tried my screen capture software, I had a lot of problems with my my speed results. Uh, my speed results ended up much slower than than what I had was just what I was getting before. I think I was only getting 70 to 80 megabytes per second which isn't terrible but it just goes to show if if your computer is strained I think my CPU or my capturing software takes somewhere around 15 to 30 percent of my CPU so that seemed to affect my speed so that's something to keep in mind if you are trying if you are having problems with getting a, a higher transfer rate other things I've heard about is the networking cards can make a big difference uh, I have all cat 6 cables but I had cat 5 cables before and I only saw maybe a 5 to 10 megabit or megabyte increase in speed so I wouldn't say that that was anything drastic there and it comes down to I have some slower machines on my network some older computers mainly Windows machines and they top out at about 70 to 80 megabytes and I I want to attribute that more to hardware and less to my disk station because this machine seems to have no problem but I know this this uh, Windows machine does have an SSD drive in it so I think that with it's a it's a newer CPU it's a Core i5 it I don't know if that has much to do with with it as much as the hard drive but I know a hard drive is a pretty good bottleneck too alright well that's been a, kind of a quick real world on scientific test uh, thanks for watching and I hope to have more videos out in a week or two here